if you think about it, you've moved into real-time search, uh, the big problems seem to be um, filtering, authority, uh, understanding true information from false, because, because it's real-time and mobs form and, and rumors spread so quickly. Uh, do you think, you know, can you solve these problems and is it something that you're focused on and is Google the company to do this? Uh, it's hard to say. I mean, certainly we've had a lot of we've had a lot of fun looking at the real time data and trying to understand pieces about it. Obviously, the backbone of Google is our PageRank algorithm, which tries to understand authoritativeness using link structure. Uh, in real time search, we've had you know we don't have as much to go on in terms of PageRank. We don't have yeah. the link structure, but instead what we've looked at is build we've built out about twelve different signals, things like query volume fluctuation. Uh, publishing volume fluctuation uh, is what we're seeing in the updates out of the ordinary yeah. in terms of using a particular, a particular term. And interestingly, inside the ecosystem, you can start seeing things like, does a particular person get retweeted? <coughs> does a pers particular person get replied to? Do they get retweeted and replied to on a particular topic? Yeah. Right? I might be an expert on Google, but I'm not an expert on Paris. So if I, if I tweet about Paris, you know, that should have a different weight than if I'm tweeting something it's gotta be about, hard stuff about to figure Google. Out. It's hard stuff to figure out, but the signals do seem to be there. And while we're just getting started on the experimentation of it, I do think there will be a notion of authoritativeness, and I think that will help to, uh, to mitigate some of the rumor issues where, you know, something false yeah. gets posted and really gets propagated quickly because you'll ha there will be this notion oh, yeah. of who's an authority on a particular topic.